Hello everybody, welcome to another video. Today I've got something really, really awesome. Uh, in my Mac Pro at the moment, I have the stock um, NVIDIA GeForce 7300 GT with uh, 256 megs of uh, video memory. It's a decent little card, um, it, it handles OS 10 fine, it does all of this and all of that, but um, it's not a gaming card for uh, 2013. So, what I'm going to do is put this uh, Sapphire uh, Radeon HD 6570 in there. Um, I've heard reports that it works absolutely fine in OS X on 10.7.5 uh, and up. Um, so, it's a little bit of a risk. Um, this is actually the cards from my little uh, uh, mini budget gaming PC. Um, there's going to be a link on screen now to that video. Um, it's a really, really, really nice little card. Um, for the money, it's incredible. Uh, this cost me £30 uh, a good while ago now. And um, it's 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 a really, really decent card for the money. So um, before we open up the Mac Pro and get to the installation, we need to unbox it first. So uh, stay tuned, guys. So let's go. On the box, you've got your standard sort of high-resolution 3D rendering of a, of a alien sort of looking girl. Um, they always put those stupid pictures on the on the front of these graphics cards. It's just a pet hate of mine. Um, your standard sort of specification. It's not that interesting, guys, so I won't uh, go into too much detail. It just advertises it to hell and back. But we're not really interested in the box. We're interested in the graphics cards. Nice bit of a uh, eco-friendly package in there. Nice one, Sapphire. There is the graphics card. I think this is a really, really cheap way um, for someone like me with a 1.1 Mac Pro to sort of just upgrade their graphics card if they still got the stock, the stock configuration because these can be had so cheap and bang for buck, it, it, it's almost unbeatable. It's it's really, really, really decent. Um, what do we have? We've got installation guides and um, what's that? Product registration. Not very interesting, and let's shut that out of the way, and here we go. Here is the graphics card, let's take it out of the anti-static wrapper, and there she is. So on the front you've got uh, VGA, HDMI, and DVI, I'll be using the DVI because um, of course my 20 inch cinema display is uh, DVI, I mean a DVI in my opinion is the best output to use as well. Um, you've got a little bit of a fan. Um, it was really really quiet in my little mini gaming PC so um, noise it should not be an issue at all. It's, it's a tiny little thing and um, yeah even in that little mini gaming PC it kept really really cool so um, it, it should be freezing in there. <laughs> so uh, okay there is the 6570. Um, now next thing to do is to unplug the beast rip it out and uh, swap the 7300 GT for this new card. So uh, I've unplugged everything, <laughs> it's a bit of a mess back there. Um, but first things first, just flick the latch and lift off the door. There she goes. And there is the Mac Pro. You may have um, noticed if you did watch the unboxing video, um, there was only two of these hard drive caddies. I am slowly getting them every time a correct numbered one pops up on eBay, I just uh, grab my hands on it and uh, hopefully a number two will turn up one day and uh, <laughs> then it'll be looking original again but um, it doesn't really bother me that much, I mean that rests on there pretty well and uh, it just doesn't look too good and my OCD knows it's underneath that big slab of aluminium and it gets on my nerves but uh, that's not the reason why we're here today. There is 7300 DT. Um, I've grown a little bit of a soft spot for this card because um, people say oh it's, it's terrible and it's useless and stuff but I really have not had a single problem with it. It's a little bit sluggish when it comes to like the, the stupid animations in the uh, mission control and launch pad and stuff but um, it's soldiered on and it's done its job and I cannot really ask for much more. Um, I'll be keeping this really just um, because of course with these uh, ATI cards, let me just go grab it now. With these ATI and uh, 
NVIDIA cards that aren't actually from Apple, you don't get the little boot screen. So, uh, when it comes to, like, boot camp and stuff, I'll just use that as sort of like a debugger if uh, something ever does go wrong. I doubt I'll be able to make much money on it in the future anyway. But, in goes the 6570. It's a really, really small card, so, um, it looks pretty measly inside the Mac Pro casing. But, um... Power-wise, it's it's above and beyond what uh, the 7300 DT. Hopefully, this won't be in here for too long. Um, the next payment I get from uh, AdSense or RPM, it is you now uh, my network. Um, all of that money will be going back into the channel essentially, and um, it'll just be going into upgrades for this thing. Um, not that it really needs it; it's just such a beast at the moment. But um, it, I could, I, I think, even this will be a bit of a bottleneck for a. Uh, the Xeons are under the hood. So, there we go, that's the Sapphire uh, card installed. What I'm going to do now is put everything back together, uh, plug everything back in, and see if it actually works. Uh, so it doesn't explode, uh, I booted up in about 45 seconds, say, and um, let's just go into more info and see if it is working. There we are, ATI Radeon HD 6570, 2048 megabytes. Um, straight away I can tell just uh, it, it isn't represented very well over the camera but everything runs silky smooth and um, yeah this should tie me over just fine so I hope you enjoyed this little video guys and as always I'll see you in the next one